Hello guys, I'm my coach Enoch and welcome to my math tutorial session. In today's class, we shall be taking a look at bearing and distance um, example question. Uh, this is actually excerpt from Cambridge IGCSE and this is my 0580 pass paper. Okay, let's take a look at the first question. The diagram shows the position of three small islands, G, H, and J. Uh, the bearing of H from G is 0 for 5 degree and the bearing of J from G is 1 to 6 degree. The bearing of J from H is 164 degree. The distance of HJ is 63 kilometer. Calculate distance um, GJ. Okay, so we have to find the distance of GJ. Okay, guys, in order to um, let's just let me go ahead and demarcate my board in order to uh, manage my mistakes according. Okay, so now the first thing I'm going to do now is to um, go for um, yeah, based on the instruction given, um, this is from, so I will take from the bearing from G. So uh, this is G here. Yeah? Okay, so from G. Don't forget that I measure bearing from the north. Okay, so um, so from G. So, um, so let me just complete my cardinal point. Okay, so I'm taking the bearing from G to J, and this is um, to H better still. This is H um, line, so from here to here. So this is from G to um, H, and this is um, three digits bearing, okay, 0 for 5 degrees. So that's the um, first given information. So uh, the next information is the bearing of J, and it's also taken from the same point in G. So I'm still taking the same from G. So let me just go ahead and um, use um, blue in order to differentiate that. Okay. So I'm taking it from the north of G again, but this time around down to the right of uh, J. So from the north down uh, here. So I have one to six degrees. Okay. Um, in order to clarify this, let me just use um, arrow to specify that angle. So this is uh, 1 to 6 degree. Okay. Now um, let me go ahead and take a rectangular box this time around. I need to quickly make a note here. So um, the first angle, that is angle G, this is two third angle. Um, let me use a laser for that. So I want to this very angle angle G. Okay, that is H G um, G, that angle. So that will be 126 minus 45. So we have one, two, six. I need not to use this after that. I'm sorry. Okay, so um, one, two, six. Okay, uh, minus forty-five. So you can go ahead and pick up your calculator and uh, get that now. So I have one, two, six minus um, forty-five. So that is eighty-one. So the included angle here is eighty-one. So that's pretty cool, right? So uh, let's go ahead to the next um, given information. This time around, I'm taking the bearing of J from H. So from H, this is H here. So we can go ahead and complete the uh, the cardinal. Is it cardinal line or something? Okay. So yeah. So don't forget that you always take your bearing from the north. So and I'm going to edit on the line um, J. So from the north. So down here is 90 degree. Then down here now to complete 164. So um. The remaining angle here, uh, I don't know whether I'm going to change that though. So, but let me just go ahead and use um, my line to specify that. So, the entire angle here is um, 164. Okay, so 164, 164. That's pretty cool. Right? Okay, now guys, um, what I need to do now is to, I need this included angle, that is angle H. J H or better still G H um, J in order to use sign rule to complete um, that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to straight line is 180 and I have um, 164 here. So the remaining angle here will be 180 minus 164. So let me take a rectangular box again to complete that. So uh, that will be I have 180 minus. 164. So that should give me um, the remaining angle here. So let me 180 using my calculator minus um, 164 
and that is 16. So I have 16 here. Don't forget that the intercept theorem we use in um, bearing resistance is um, alternate angle. So alternate angle that is Z angle, beta Z. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. Um, let me change the color again. I'm sorry about that. In order to um, verify this, let's take it back to red. Okay, so now look at this now. This is Z angle, beta Z. Um, beta Z is Z angle. See this might be Z angle. So from here now we can we know that the remain the angle the angle here equals to the here that is also an angle. So this is 45 degrees. Therefore, the included angle here that is angle H. Um, let me take my rectangular box again. So angle H will be what? That will be 45 plus 60. So 45 and plus 60. So I need to use my calculator to compute that. 16 plus um, 45. Sorry about that. 16 plus 45. And that is 61. So the total angle here that is angle G H K is uh, 61. Okay, I can complete the tax using uh, sine rule now. So I'll go for the sine rules to say that A over sine. This is generally okay. Over sine A um, equals B. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Plus B over sine B. It was to C over sine C and so on and so forth. But I will make do with the um, letter I have here. This is H. And this will be lowercase H. So that is G. J is H letter H. So what I will have here will now be H uh, divided by the corresponding angle. That is 61. Sine 61. Okay. It was. Um, I have put the formation here, 63 and 81. That is 63 divided by the corresponding angle, and that is 581. Okay, then I can go ahead and cross multiply this number one. So I have H sine. Um, I don't know, <laughs> for some reason, I don't know what I, I think this is 81, right? Yeah, 81. Don't mind me, sorry about that. So H sine is a one. Uh, it was um, sixty-three sine sixty one. Therefore H it was sixty-three sine sixty one. So I'm going to use my calculator to compute the solution accordingly. So let me just write this sine sixty one divided by sine. Let me just um, plug the input that one into my calculator. Let me just use the um, arrow K. So therefore H um, equals so six. Um, let me just take this now. Um, six sine um, sixty one load divided by sine um, sixty one. Okay, so this is what it is. Um, six. For some reason, I didn't know. See, this is not six. This is actually 63. I'm sorry about it. 63 sine 61. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so let me just uh, put that in here. Like 6. That's 63, right? 63. 63 sine 61 divided by sine 61. So that's is, um, 55.787878 something. So now I'm going to um, take it to the nearest um, whole number. So that would be 56. So um, therefore, um, GJ is um, some kilometer. Okay, guys, that's the end of um, the first question. So let's take a look at the next question. Okay, let's take a look at the next question. Ship sails from point P to Q. Q is 74 kilometer from P on a bearing of 142 degrees. The lighthouse L is 58 kilometer from P on a bearing of 110 degrees. Show that distance LQ is 39.5 kilometer correct to one decimal place. Okay, so we have to show that um, the distance from um, L to Q is um, 
39.5 kilometer. Okay, so let me just wide our work with uh, the TV information and this uh, from P, the sodium from P is 1.2 down the Q. So um, from P, let's just continue that now. now. So P, just draw your, if it is a uh, cardinal point, okay, so E and F. Okay, so in order not to make mistake, I think I would like to put some information in rectangular boxes. So I want to put the right information in rectangular box. Then um, let's go ahead now. So from the not don't forget that then it's always make sure from the not, okay? So from not of P down to line Q. From the not of P down to line Q, and this is Q down there. Okay, so from here down here, that is 90. Okay, so um, let me just see the color now in order to see. So I'm going to write something here. Sorry about that. I'm going to post uh, something here um, so that I don't make mistake. Okay, so let's continue now. So I need this angle though. So this remaining blue angle I need here. Then I have something little more here. So I'm going to put that in green. Okay, so that I don't make mistake. So let me put that in green. So that will be um, green with that now. Okay, so let's see what we have. So I have um, information for green here. Sorry about that. So I have green information here. Okay, so blue green. So now everything there is one for the two. So the green and blue all together, that will be how many more? Okay. So how many more, um, it is 142 degrees and, and 90 degrees. So that will be 142 minus 90. 142 minus 90. So we just need to two. That is the gray plus blue. So let me put down G. Gray angle plus blue angle. Okay, GB. Okay, that is this two angle here, this angle here. So that is um, how many more is 142 degrees and 90. So that will give me um, this angle here, and that is 52 degrees. So that's 52 degrees for the green and blue. So just keep that. Okay, so now that's pretty good. So let's just um, let's keep that. And let me continue the question now. So I know that the sum of these two is um, 52 degrees. Okay. The light has style is 58 kilometers from P on the very so I'm going from P again. So from P down to um, L to the lighthouse. So that is the red and the green now is one here. Okay. So the red plus green. This red plus green is one ten. Red plus green um, is one ten. So how many more is one ten than 90 degree? So one one zero minus 90 and that is 20 so this green angle here is 20 degree okay so that's pretty good since this green is 20 and i have blue and green to be 52 therefore this blue angle will be 52 minus um, 20 so 52 minus 20 that is 32 so blue is 32 and that is angle q so i can put angle um keep Q P L Q P L that is angle P is um thirty two degree equals to um thirty two degree. So let's keep that. Okay, I can continue now. So um to show that um the distance um L Q is um thirty nine point five. Okay, now, since I have the included angle now, which is 32, I have two given side 58 and 74, then I can go ahead with my cosine rule. So, our cosine rule states that, um, I don't know whether I should waste my time, I don't need to waste much time there, um, but let's just go ahead. This is lowercase, this is angle P, so this will be lowercase letter P, and uh, this is angle Q, so this will be lowercase letter Q, and uh, this is angle L, so this will look at like this letter L. Okay, sorry about that. Like this letter L. 
with that, I'm looking for this um, angle here. So um, let's put that in rectangular box also. Sorry about that. Um, where do I put that now? Let me put it. Okay, I think I will not go with uh, my right marker now. So I'm looking for P, so that is P squared. Okay, sorry about that. That's P squared. So P squared. This one equals to L squared plus Q squared minus 2 to L Q then cos of the included angle. That is cos Q. So I can apply it now. Um, let me just <laughs> Let's just apply it here, okay? Sorry about that. Uh, let's do that in a rectangular box, please. Um, so let's just go ahead and apply it here. So far, that space will be enough. Okay, I think I'll just start from here. So um, P will be P square um, equals um, L, that is 74 square. 74 square plus um, Q, that is um, 58. Minus two times seventy four. Minus two times seventy four times sixty eight. Um, cos thirty two. So I'll plug that in my calculator. Uh, sorry about that. This is cos thirty two. So I'll plug that in my calculator now. So um, seventy four squared. Plus 58 squared minus 2 open bracket 74 close open bracket 58 close cos 42 degree close to plus 2. So that is 156. So I'm going to find the square root of that now. I think I can continue. So P square um, equals to 1580 dot oh sorry about that 1560 1560 dot 355 something like that 355 so I will not be able to compute everything here so P will be square root of uh, my answer square root answer equals to that is 39.50 zero. so that's 39.5 kilometer okay and that's what the answer to show so you have to show that um, distance LQ is 39.5 so that is okay so <laughs> that is okay so that's okay so using sine rule to calculate angle P Q L so P Q L so I'm looking for this angle here. This will be the angle here. So this angle Q so I can go with sine rule. So Q side Q divided by corresponding angle. So Q over side Q equals so do I have any given side and angle? So we can see 32 and 39.5. That is 39.5. Okay, don't mind me. Let me go to the formula for So that equals uh, P um, over sine P. Okay, and I can go ahead now. So what is Q? Um, Q is um, 58. Okay, so that is 58. Q here, Q, 58 over sine Q. I like what I'm looking for. Okay. Sine Q. Q over sine Q. Equals P. Uh, that's uh, 39.5. Okay, I need to manage my boss. Okay, 39.5. Okay, okay. Over. Um, 39.5 as sine 32. 
Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, let me just uh, let me cover out the screen here. I think I should be able to do something here. Okay, so now if we go ahead and first multiply, I'm going to have sine q. That would be 58 sine 72. 58 sine 72 divided by um, 39.5. And Q will be half sine of that. Q will be half sine of that. Okay, so. <laughs> Okay, so Q. Uh, okay, it will be R sign of that. R sign of the answer. So sorry about that. I'm just going to pull R sign of the answer. I don't know whether I'll be able to accept it. So R sign of the answer. R sign of the answer put together. So let's get the answer. That is um, 0 0.7, 0 0.7781, 0 0.7781, and then um, have some number behind it, 0, so I'll just with the nearest um, degree, that would be 51 degree. So that therefore angle Q, this angle here, that's the one. The entire angle there is 51. So let me just write that for Q and it was 51 degrees. Okay. Find the bearing of P from Q. So from Q, go to Q, this is Q here, then I'll end on P. Okay, so let's click it again. Down here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to end it on um, on P. So I'll start from Q. Okay, so from Q. So don't forget that you measure from the north. So from the north. Down to P. So this one here, this 90. I'm going to P, don't forget, 180. I'm going to P, don't forget, 270. There will be this small angle here. Okay. Now, um, the first thing I'm going to do now is, um, then I'm going to do, um, that will be 270 plus something. So that will be, uh, let me just write down that. That's 270. And uh, this no angle, this no angle. Okay, so how do we go about with this no angle there? Now, if you let's see what we have there. Uh, let's don't forget that I mean here in a distance is uh, the intersection um, is um, or tangent angle, and that is B angle. I want to know should I go? Let's go for blue line. So let me make let me make it a blue. So let me just show you B angle. That is for tangent angle. So look at this now, 20 plus 32, that will give me complete video. So this is toward um, this, this, yeah, this, down here, yeah. then down here. Yeah. So that is the small angle. So this is theta here. Yeah. So let me just put this is angle theta here. Yeah. And that's the angle of the theta. And what is angle theta here? Yeah. So, um, you go by intercept your range, you see angle, that is 20 plus 32. 20 plus 32, and that is 52. So this theta is 52. So the answer here will be um, 270 plus 52. 270 plus 52. So I'll just go ahead with your calculator. 270 plus 52 equals to 322. So the um, solution to that is 3, um, 2, 2, okay. Okay, L from Q, 
So um, I don't know. Let me just change the color from okay. I think blue is beautiful. So um, from Q, then I should end on L. Look at this now. This is Q, not of Q. This is Q, not of Q. Then I end it on L. This blue one here, blue. This just this small blue. I don't forget that the entire angle here is 51, so just this small angle here. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at something else again. Um, don't forget that um, the angle here is um, 90. The entire angle here will be 90. So I want to make sure it's alternate here, I can do that. Uh, this time around, I don't know, let's change the color to uh, maybe pink or something like that, so that you see the continuity. Let's use this, uh, is this, I don't know, is that pink? Okay, I think it's pink. Okay, so let me make this a fly now. Okay, look at this again. Uh, this is alternate angle. This is the angle. This is alternate angle. This is the angle. Okay, so and if you look at what I do now, this one here. So now, but um, the angle there, the entire angle here is um, from here. This is 90. Okay, but I have 52 here. So that will be 52 minus 90, right? So that will be 90 minus 52. So uh, that is 38. So this small angle here is 38. And meaning that this angle here will be 38 degrees. But I'm looking for this blue angle. So that will be 51 minus 38. So this is 51 minus 38 degrees. And that is what? 51 minus 38. And that is 13 degrees. And that angle there is 13. Okay, that's 15 degrees. Next question says that the ship takes two hours and 15 minutes to sail from 24 kilometers from P to Q. So calculate the average speed in Okay, so now uh, uh, distance over time. So distance divided by time. Okay, so we have the distance and it's given to be 74 kilometers. And by the time this two hours, 15 minutes, 15 minutes is one over four hours, right? So that's one quarter. Okay, one over four hours. So that's two hours, um, two, one over four. If we take that to improper fashion, that will be nine over four. Okay, so that will be nine over four. 9 over 4 hours, right? So 9 over 4 hours. So what do we have here now? So that will be equals to the distance I have here is 74. So 74 divided by the time. And the time is 9 over 4 divided by our four. So that should give us our sub and square here. So we have 74, 74 divided by uh for better still I can cross multiply. So 74 times 4 over 9. So it's 4 over 9. So that would be the base, right? And that is um, 32.8. So this is 32.8, but the 32.8 is in kilometer. Okay, 32.8 uh, kilometer per hour. Now to convert that to knots, kilometer per hour to knots. So uh, since I know that, um, sorry about that, I know that one knot is 1.85. Um, so that will be 32.8 divided by 1.8. So uh, divided by 1.8. So and that is 1.85 meters. So because one not is 1.85 kilometers, so divide that as a by that. And that is 17.7. So we are not actually take to 1dp. To 1 dp that will be 17.8. So to 1 dp that will be 17.8. Then calculate the shortest distance from the lighthouse to the part of the ship. So the shortest distance from the lighthouse to the part of the ship, and we know from the first question, the part of the ship, the ship sail from P to Q. So the part of the ship um, required there is uh, P is the part of the ship. This P, uh, P Q, this is the part of the ship here. Okay, they are taken from the lighthouse, so that is perpendicular distance from the perpendicular distance. So meaning that this place here will be a 90 degree. And I have this um, QL as my hypotenuse. Okay, and I'm looking for this distance D, and um, the angle I have there is 51. So let me just cover out the, um, uh, let me just bring out the shape there. So we have something like this, like a triangle, 
we have a triangle and you have um, this is the perpendicular this is the distance here this is the this one here is the distance here this is the here this is the shortest distance we are looking for so this is the deep okay and the equivalent angle is this is the angle facing deep so this here is um, 51 degree we have 51 degree here then I have cannot set it at 9.5 so I can go ahead with um, so Katsua so um, that is opposite of hypotenuse sine 51 sine 51 equals to opposite opposite is this divided by hypotenuse which is 39.5 so therefore D will be 39.5 sine of 1 so 39.1 39.5 times sine 51. So that will give us the um, solution. 30.69. So 1 dp, since we have a kilometer, so that will be 30.7 kilometers. So the solution here is 30.7 uh, kilometers. So I think the end of this question. Okay, here is the next question. The helicopter flies 5 km you know, from A to B, it then flies 5 km from B to C and returns to A. Angle ABC is 150 degrees, that play the area of triangle ABC. So you have to calculate the area of triangle ABC. Okay. So guys, and don't forget, anytime you have um, included angle, okay, the two given side, then um, area is giving us area equals um, I don't know. <laughs> Let me just write it in full, okay? So it's not like area, okay? Area, okay? Because, um, uh, let's just go ahead and label this if you don't mind. So this is um, more part in C, this is more part in C. This is angle A, the corresponding side, uh, that will be A. This angle C, so the corresponding side is C. Okay, so area is half. And the equivalent angle, that is AC. Sorry, the, uh, yeah, this included angle at the side, given side, um, A and C, so have A, C, sine of the included angle, that is sine B, this one, so have A, so have A, sine B, okay, so what do you have here, that's half, I'm going to use dot, guys, sorry about that, dot, um, A is um, 5 kilometer, then dot, That's it. <laughs> okay, so let me use that thing then. Okay, so then I'm going to edit on C and because it says from C. So yeah, from C, so I'm on C, from C down to B. And uh, where is B? This is B. From C down to B. So from C, this is 90, 180, um, down to B must be C. It's not to be. Okay, so um Something is not to be seventy, but it's um, a little more than one eighty. That will be one eighty plus um, angle there. Then um, another thing is um, let me just change the color now so that I see your um, alternate angle to get a better understanding. Um, to gain a better understanding of what I'm trying to explain. Okay, so now let's take a look at the Z angle. Um, so this uh, letter Z. Okay, for let, let's take a look at this one for here. This one is um, this will be angle on the straight line. 150 plus, um, let me just, sorry about that, let me use um, add 10, 
So 150 plus something to make 180. So how many more is the 180 than the 150? So I can go for my Z now. So look at the problem. That is what I need to do. So this one. Okay, and that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. So this remaining angle. So from this remaining angle here, yeah? let's start this out. Uh, this one. Sorry, that angle. Uh, this angle will be one in second theta. Yes, theta is also an angle. So I need to this. This is 30. So theta is 30. So that will be one in second. Okay, okay, that will be the end of um, the session. Um, I'll tell you again on this side. Okay, I'm um, going to make Break the streets up!